Welcome to Spycom UK. In this video we'll be talking about the Covert Key Fob Camera. Inside the box you'll get the normal instructions, one for using the device itself and one for linking it to your phone. And you'll also receive the camera itself. The camera can be seen just at the edge of the uh, key fob, just in the centre there. You also get an SD card with an SD card reader for using the PC. Underneath, in the accessories, you'll get your normal charging cable for obviously charging up the device and a key fob cover, which some people choose to use and so others don't. Right, so the unit itself. On the top here, we've got the main power button, which you use to obviously turn the unit on. It also starts and stops recordings. We've got the power off button for shutting the whole unit down. And we've got Wi-Fi on and off. The bottom here we've got a normal key ring, which is obviously quite useful for helping for the unit to blend in because you can attach it to a set of keys where you can either carry it around your person, leave it on a desk or leave it lying around without it standing out. If we pull, pull quite hard on this, uh, the ring there, it removes the cap at the bottom and underneath you can see some of the controls. So here we've got the lights showing when the unit is on or off, so if I turn the unit on now you see you get a blue light. Um, we've also got the charge port for obviously putting the unit on charge but also for offloading the footage onto a PC. We've also got an SD card and we've got a reset button in case uh, the unit does freeze up and to the far right here this slide switch can be used for turning on or off vibration mode. So if vibration is turned on, which this unit isn't, whenever we press one of these buttons it will give us feedback so you know that the unit has actually been switched on. However, even if you haven't got that switched on and the cap is on, you can still see the blue lights in the corner there. Uh, you may find this helpful, you may find it's not very covert, in which case you can just take the cap off just put a small bit of black tape over that hole and then you won't be able to see any further. Really, if you're using this unit, you either need feedback with vibration or light, so at least you know if the unit is on or recording. So as I say, the uh, top button is used to turn the device on. If you press it, the top button again, that will then put it straight into record mode. You see the light will go like a pinky purple colour. At that point, the uh, video has been captured, and you just leave it lying around, or you can you can hold it in such a way that it isn't too obvious that you point it at someone. However, it's fairly wide angle, so leaving it lying on the the table should be good enough for, for picking up footage. If you finish recording, just press that top button again, and the unit will stay in standby, but won't be recording. So it's fairly simple to use. Press once to turn on, again to record, again to stop. If you're finished, then you just press the middle button there and the unit goes to sleep. As mentioned though, you have also got the Wi-Fi mode. So whilst the unit's on, if you press the press and hold this button here, you will get, which you can only see when the cap's off, you'll get uh, the Wi-Fi light pressing. Now, when it's in this mode, what that means is that the um, device able to link up to your phone. You may not always need this but it is quite handy if you're using this and you're not sure if it's capturing the very thing you're trying to capture. So when you go to link to your phone if you just open up the app and uh, click on the camera that you want to view because you might have more than one and then by clicking on the uh, live view mode you can see what the camera is looking at here and now. So from there you can actually uh, see if you capture the, the image you want. You can also start stop the recordings from the app as well. But you can also place it into um, motion activation mode. Now in this mode, being left on the table, anything that walks past it will start recording. You see the light goes purple. And then when it goes quiet again, the unit will go back into standby. Uh, it's important though in this mode not to leave it in vibration because every time someone walks past it will vibrate which is, will give the game away. 
So the other thing with the app is you can use it for downloading the footage directly onto your phone. So if you don't have an SD card reader on your phone, you can just link it up, download the video, and then obviously from there you can email it to someone or upload it to a uh, file storage system. The settings as well allow you to do uh, quick settings like setting the time and date, formatting the SD card, or changing the, uh, the resolution. Although the smartphone is not needed to actually operate the camera because it will work as standalone and as a standalone unit it is a very quick deployment camera that can be easily operated. At the end of this video I'll leave you some demo footage so you can see what the camera is like when capturing footage in various different places. Thank you for watching.